you know, what you got going on yourself, what worked mm -hmm. for you, what's best for you. A lot of people be so stuck on like, watching everything and everybody else or looking at social media all day and it's like mm -hmm. they dictate their life off of what everybody else doing. Right. You ain't gonna get there like that. You know what I'm saying? I saw your uh, Twitter rant about people like being stuck on clout. And how do you feel like you don't succumb to being stuck on like what's popping on social media and stuff like that? I don't know. It's like some shit like it's just in you and it ain't. Right. That shit just ain't in me. You be on there often or you just don't even really... Everybody be on social media, but it's like, y'all yeah. know the ones. You can look and tell the ones it's just they live their life on right. social media. You know what right. I'm saying? To you know how to like that. shit Drake just sitting there around like people having more followers than dollars. Mm. And that shit just the honest to God truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And some people ain't got the followers yet, but they ain't thinking about the dollars. They thinking about the number of them followers. They want them followers. Mm. They ain't even really stuck on the dollars. Like They want them followers. They want their attention. It used to be called attention. Like, everybody used to want attention. It just translated now to the followers. Everybody want them views and them followers. And it's cool, but goddamn, like, <laughs> come on now. I mean, the followers right. do sometimes turn into dollars. Yeah, but at the same time, it shit, some people don't know. It. They ain't, that's not resonate with them. They want to, they just want to, like, be in the mix. They just want to, they just want talking and gossiping and shit to be going on. Like, right. that shit ain't about it. Gossiping don't get you shit. They ain't. I don't know, man. Right, it's I like, might be wrong, but I don't know. You make it work for you how you, how you want to use it as a tool, right? Yeah, it's exactly. Easy. It's like, don't get me wrong, you got to, you get your shit up. It's not like, I look at social media, it's all about money. Like, mm -hmm. I look at everything about money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you run your shit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your money off of it. But a lot of people, they not, they ain't, they ain't trying to do that. Mm. They just right. want to like being in the gossip topics and the gossip situation right. and the, the talk and the attention. Like, mm -hmm. fuck the money. I don't know who raised where they get that shit from. <laughs> <laughs> get that I mean? up off your mind. <laughs> it might just be where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, I'm from Memphis and it's like everything about paper with us. You know what right. I mean? It's like everything. You know what I mean? It's like we're going to find the littlest, the bullshittest thing, whatever we into, is we going we gonna to go back to the shit. Do we got anything to do with money? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, if you ain't got nothing to do with money, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. How long have you all been dating? We were dating for six months. Okay. So this is a recent relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brandon's wife, Zaria, stated this in a Facebook post that has now been deleted. Artisha tried to make it seem like Zaria had a problem with Danielle, but Zaria didn't have a problem with Danielle. She has a problem with Artisha. Artisha knows that, but during the interview, she tried to flip it. She wants people to believe that Zaria didn't like Danielle, but the fact of the matter is, Zaria doesn't like her. Zaria was very clear in his Facebook post that she never wanted her son around Artisha. But Artisha told Thaddeus during the interview that Zaria told her she didn't want her son around Danielle. That's not true. So as far as his wife, this, this is my problem with her. Um, you're out here making posts that I've been weird, but you didn't even have the legal rights to your son because at the moment you and Brandon were fighting for full custody and you was already labeled neglected. So, and you also was trying to paint this image like because you have him history with Brandon. Um, she didn't have anywhere to go, she just had, she just recently got a place. Um, and you have your mental issues as well. Okay. So, but you I mean, what kind, what kind of mental issues are you saying that the wife had? Um, she had a moment because she found out that me and him were still together after she tried to put this point where to tell me about Daniel being pregnant and I already had knew about Daniel being pregnant. She just didn't know. So it was a shock to her. 
So she wanted to fight for fight in court to get full custody because she did not want the child of Danielle's to be around her son. So, so for her to say that I was making threats to them, I think that's the other way around. That she was doing the threats because she did not want her to keep the baby. Now I knew so there was how, 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 how do you know that she didn't want uh, Danielle to keep the baby? Um, she told me. She ended up reaching out to me. Me and her had a conversation. She also met up with Danielle and had a conversation with Danielle to get her into having an abortion. I don't think it was nothing like threats because it was face to face. I believe every word Zaria said. Because, see, first of all, she had sympathy for the situation. She had compassion for Danielle's family. And she had enough decency and respect and morals to give her condolences to that family. That's something that Artisha didn't do. And as a mother, I got a lot of respect for her. Because as a mother, you're supposed to look out for the best interests of your child or children. And that's what she did when she called out Artisha's behavior. Y'all got to stop paying attention to people's behavior. Brandon needed help a long time ago. But no one offered a helping hand. No one was there to talk to him or guide him in the right direction because this is something that could have been prevented. Artisha need help. Anytime you stalking a woman over a man, you're not mentally stable. 